In this video, we will create a first hydraulic model using a cylinder drive as an example. My name is Ronald and I will guide you through this video. We start with the basic steps to create the simulation model with an open loop control and replace the open loop control by a closed loop position control. This should be the hydraulic circuit diagram of our cylinder drive. Very easy and not very energy efficient with a constant pump and a pressure relief valve. As always, we need a fluid and the environment in the hydraulic model. Now I am collecting the necessary components, a constant flow pump, a tank, a volume, a pressure relief valve, a proportional valve, and a cylinder. The next step is to connect all components to each other. This defines the physical structure of the system. The volumes do not appear in the circuit diagram, but they are necessary in most cases. On the one hand, they are like normal components and representing the physical fluid volume between, for example, pump, pressure relief valve and proportional valve. On the other hand, they are necessary to fulfill the condition that two resistors or flow sources like a pump can only be connected by one capacitor in order to calculate the dynamic pressure change. After connecting the components to each other, we put in some quick parameters. We assume a volume flow of 20 liters per minute and please consider that we have to use SI units, therefore I'm using the conversion factor. A maximum system pressure of 180 bar as flow rate of the valve we also assume 20 liters per minute at a pressure drop of 5 bar per metering edge. At the cylinder, we want to have a piston diameter of 50 mm, a rod diameter of 30 mm, a cylinder length of 1000 mm and a moved mass of 200 kg. Now we can determine the velocity of the cylinder. In extending direction, it should be 169 mm per second. In retraction direction, 265 mm per second given by the flow and piston area of the cylinder. The cylinder is fixed to ground, so we have to add a fixed element from Modelica library. In order to observe our system, we have to add some sensors. We want to see the movement of the cylinder, so we add a position and speed sensor from Modelica library. The flow rate of the pump is given as a constant, so we don't need a flow sensor. But systems pressure is interesting, also pressure in chamber A and B of the cylinder. In order to visualize the measured data, we add scopes to the sensors. The cylinder has a direct output of its displacement 
it's not always necessary to use a position sensor. I like to see the pressure in bar instead of Pascal, therefore I add gain blocks for the conversion. What's missing? Ah right, the set value for the valve. For the first tests I take a square wave generator for switching the valve from one side to the other. I set maximum value to 10, the minimum value to minus 10 and the period to 5 seconds. So we have enough time to observe the velocity of the cylinder. Now. Let's have a look to the results. Displacement and position are very similar, but have different offsets. Displacement is the local position of the piston, while the Modelica position is a global position of the tip of the cylinder rod. The speed indeed shows the calculated values of 169 mm per second extending and 265 mm per second retracting. The eye-catching spikes at the beginning of the movement are caused by the high pressure difference between system pressure and pressure in cylinder chamber A. In the moment when the valve switches from backward to forward movement of the cylinder, this high pressure difference leads to a higher flow through the valve and as a consequence to a higher velocity of the cylinder. As soon as we have a balance of all pressures, the cylinder moves with a constant speed. But why do we have such a high system pressure? Well, due to the faster retracting speed, the cylinder reaches the end stop before the valve switches to the other direction. Hence, the pump delivers oil into a fixed volume and the pressure rises fast. The maximum pressure is limited by the pressure relief valve. The opening pressure was set to 180 bar, but due to the characteristic of the valve, the system pressure rises up to 185 bar. The second step with the cylinder drive is adding a position control. First, I delete some scopes and sensors we don't need. A closed loop control needs a comparison of set value and the current value. For this I use a difference block. The controller itself is just a simple proportional gain. As set value I reuse the valve actuation with adapted parameters. The cylinder should move between two positions at 0.2 and 0.5 meters. The scope should show both the set value and the current position, so we can directly assess the quality of the controller. Oh, the cylinder doesn't reach the desired position. 
Let's increase the proportional factor to 10. It's getting better, but that can't be all. Let's have a look to the valve signal. If it's less than 10, there's more potential in the system. And yes, we can increase the proportional factor again. Let's try 100. I know the cylinder moves with maximum speed and reaches the positions without any oscillation. Perfect. This leads me to the end of this video. I'd like to point you to our forum. It's a great place for questions and knowledge exchange in all matters concerning Compose and Activate, but also for all other Altair tools. Thanks for watching and see you at the forum.